Hi guys, it's Debbie and today I would like to speak about what I personally consider some awesome music related films. This doesn't necessarily mean the best soundtracks of all time because in that case the list would certainly change. Today I would like to speak about films about music, whether they are musicals or follow the life of a certain artist or in general movies in which the music has played an important role in the plot and themes. Obviously this still means they can have an awesome soundtrack. I know the list of music related films is nearly endless and that there are many other exceptional works of art out there so this list will definitely not include all of them and I'll probably upload other videos covering similar themes. The first film I'd like to speak about is School of Rock directed by Richard Linklater. At first sight School of Rock appears to be a film targeted mainly to younger audiences but it turned out to have many features which appeal to viewers of all ages. I've watched this film with my parents, with studded heavy metal fans, with my 10 year old brother, with my grandparents. Everybody agreed that it's absolutely hilarious and awesome. School of Rock stars Jack Black as guitarist Dewey Finn which is kicked out of his band because of his exaggerated performances on stage and because of his eccentric behaviour. He is so desperate for a job he impersonates his flatmate, a school teacher and ends up illegally taking on a job at a posh private primary school. He obviously isn't able to teach the kids anything and spends his time eating, sleeping and complaining about the school's way of grading its students but he soon notices that many of them have exceptionally good music skills so he changes his attitude and uses his time at school to to help the children improve their musical competences and teaches them how to play different instruments. As a matter of fact, many of the kids had had a strict classic education regarding music, mostly because of parents that didn't consider many genres, especially rock, as real music. So for example, talented guitarist Zach had never even picked up an electric guitar. Dewey sets up a small band in class, teaches his students about the history of rock, hands out CDs to listen to as homework, and even tries to get his class into a competition, the Battle of the Bands, all while trying to not be caught by the strict school principal. The soundtrack to School of Rock includes many pieces from ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Stevie Nicks, The Who, and countless other artists. In particular, the ACDC references are quite evident. The band even chooses to wear punk top of retro versions of their school uniform, similar to those used by the members of ACDC. In general, this film is a tribute to that rock and roll spirit of always wanted to be in the game, of never giving up and grown old inside, but of staying young at heart and wanted to go against the injustices of the system, even in the small things, proving that even the most rebellious music can be considered a form of art and not part of a scary satanic scene. As a matter of fact, the film actually tends to be very critical of stereotypes, bullying, poses and general dangerous lifestyles. The characters in the film are more than once scolded and warned to stay away from dangerous unhealthy situations and dodgy characters and they're always encouraged to be themselves regardless of the nasty comments they might receive. I absolutely recommend Watcher's School of Rock for Jack Black at his hilarious best and a huge amount of music references and hilarious situations. If you're looking for more fun Jack Black and rock metal music combos there is another film which is Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny but that would be for adult audiences only, not for children. The next film I'd like to speak about is Across the Universe, directed by Julie Taymor and based on the songs of the Beatles. Across the Universe is set in the 1960s and mostly follows the life of two characters. So we have Jude, portrayed by Jim Sturgis and named after the song Hey Jude, and then Lucy, portrayed by Evan Rachel Wood, and which represents Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. But it also covers all a series of themes, issues and events from that era, such as the 1967 Detroit riots in which dozens of people died and thousands were arrested or injured. It covers the topic of the Vietnam War, of being enrolled in the army, the anti-war protests, the abuse of drugs, the birth and growth of student protests. This film is a Beatles fan's heaven. The soundtrack contains over 30 of the band's pieces, with classics that range from a revolution to I am the walrus, uh, from Cud Together to Strawberry Fields Forever, Blackbird, Don't Let Me Down, Helter Skelter and so many more. The title of the film is a Beatles song and it is also featured in the movie and nearly all the characters are named after elements from the Beatles world. The whole film is actually a general tribute to the style and music of the era, for example with characters such as Sadie which is a reference to Janis Joplin or Jojo which represents Jimi Hendrix. I would definitely recommend watching Across the Universe mostly because of how the music has been incorporated in the 
scenes. Even the simplest scenes can become a tear-jerking, heartbreaking, chilling or even joyous just because of the music. As a matter of fact, this film can be enjoyed even if you're not simply a strictly Beatles fan. Another film I'd like to speak about is 8 Mile, a movie which stars Eminem as himself and which actually earned the rapper an Oscar for Best Original Song with Lose Yourself. 8 Mile follows the life of Eminem back in the 90s when he was nowhere even close to how we know him now. He was living in a derelict house, getting by on a very low salary, with barely a functioning car to get to work, he was dealing with issues at home and the only thing that could save him from this depressing situation was music. He would spend hours and hours writing down lyrics, singing them to his little sister, hanging out with his friends, trying to become a big name in the hip hop industry. But in addition to his own personal problems, he also had to deal with the strong rivalry there was in the hip hop scene and in particular in the area of Detroit where he was trying to reach fame. 8 Mile is a touch and heartbreaking depiction of the struggles a man has to overcome in a tough and extremely competitive environment in which emotions are running high and everybody is constantly fighting. B Rabbit, that was Eminem's nickname at the time, is a good at heart artist whose only aspiration is that of creating a better life for himself and his sister and of pursuing a career with his passion. As we all know, Eminem eventually managed to get through it all, but this film still offers an interesting insight into what we don't usually hear about the character. It's the story of when he used to work in a factory and rap in the parking lot during lunch break. It's the story of how he nervously used to attend rap battles in front of a disapproving audience, whereas now he sings in front of cheering crowds of tens of thousands. I would recommend watching 8 Mile even if you aren't a hip hop fan or an Eminem fan because I think this film could be very representative of the origins of music from struggles and hard times and of how a passion can pull you out of a very dark place, whatever style the art may be. Another film I'd like to speak about is Whiplash directed by Damien Chazelle. On my channel I've spoken more than once about this film, I've also compared it to Chazelle's most recent work which is La La Land and I'll link that down below and I included Whiplash in this list today because in my personal opinion it presents one of the best depictions of an artist's struggles. The determined and the relationship with art, in this case music. Whiplash follows the story of talented drummer Andrew portrayed by Miles Teller. He's accepted at one of the best and most competitive music colleges and during his time at this school he is constantly put to the test by one of his teachers, uh, Mr Fletcher portrayed by J.K. Simmons, which wanted to get the best out of his students tends to use a violent and aggressive attitude. Now when I say violent and aggressive I mean his behaviours include throwing objects at his students while they're playing, screaming insults at them and constantly swearing at them. But regardless of his teacher's attitude, Andrew is so passionate about his music, about his art, that he starts to give up everything in his social life, just to reach his goal of living for his passion and becoming the best. Even if this means closing himself at home and playing all day long. I always recommend watching Whiplash because it really represents a passion. It represents what a person is willing to do in order to reach a goal. What the outcome of certain choices could be and where a person should eventually draw the line. It is also a visually beautiful work of art with extreme slow motions and close-ups and a colour scheme which mainly focuses on the golden colour of the stage lights and the play's instruments which represent hope and success and which brightly stand out against the other main colour which is black, often seen in the character's clothing and the background. The last film I'd like to speak about is Sing Street directed by John Carney. Sing Street is set in Dublin in the 1980s and follows the life of Connor which has recently been relocated from a posh private school to a public school, Sing Street. One day Connor meets beautiful cool Rafina and trying to make an impression on her, he boasts about his successful band and claims he needs a model for the next music video. Rafina accepts the role and the rest of the film follows the makeshift band's awkward adventures, nearly comedic music videos and most importantly the evolution of Connor's music style and influences as he starts to develop his own tastes and wants to stop making covers of other pieces and start creating his own art. The whole film is a tribute to the 1980s glam era, to the breach in stylistic and music conventions, to stepping outside of of society's comfort zone and to experimentation. For example, Connor turns up to his very conservative school in bright makeup. It is also an optimistic tribute to adolescence, to trial and error, to dreams, to the power of music without falling into a sad depiction of a hopeless youth. Let me know if you have other recommendation about good music related films with a comment here below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe for more movie related content and much more. See you soon. Bye.